Good evening, world, and welcome to Future Shock. I'm James Brown. I want you to check out our roots. Sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. The next hour is going to be an hour packed with surprises, and you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to be life. So get ready as we get down, because we got a little energy we got to spare with body heat. Get funky. When your body gets fun from masturbation And you need some love from fascination What's that? Body heat What's that? Body heat When your body won't do what you want it to And you don't do it cause you know you're through What's that? Body heat What's that? Body heat When you can't get your body free What's that? Party heat. What's that? Party heat. <laughs> ah, payback. <laughs> ah, gotta go to church, y'all. Gotta go to church, y'all.
James Brown Teacher Shock T-shirts are available now. Get down like James Brown with your Teacher Shock T-shirt. Send $4.99 plus handling to Future Shock T-shirt. Post Office Box 41126, Atlanta, Georgia. James Brown Future Shock T-shirts with body heat. Body heat, the fastest rising. And single today, James Brown has done it again and bigger than ever before. <laughs> Buy it at your favorite record store. What's that? Body heat. What's that? Body heat. When your body wants to do what you want it to. And you don't do it because you know you're through. What's that? Body heat. What's body that? heat, available on record and tapes. When you Buy it today. Somebody, please. <laughs> Out in the space with Jimmy Casabun, and it's called Space Age. But we're not gonna blow our roots. We're gonna stand firmly on planet A. Check out you, Wesley. Tracking that 
I'm sitting here and I know we're talking to the whole world. And uh, since we, you know, been able to get our satellite going and everything, if you just see anybody, if you happen to be out in the stratosphere and you see somebody passing by, it's me. I'm going to do future shock, either catching the waves and catching the groove, going to some place like Houston, maybe Trinidad, and maybe, I don't know, Puerto Rico. But right now, we got a real treat for you as a young lady. For 12 years, uh, she's been in Germany, and she's just returned. Back to the U.S. because 
This is where our roots are, you know, right here. So let's make a welcome with a good old future shock welcome. Miss Ronnie Hill singing Stop in the Name of Love. Give a big round of applause. don't mind waiting for her, you know, because, hey, she is, she's worth, she's worth waiting for her, stop in the name of love. Very sweet young lady, and she's going to go a long ways because she's got a beautiful voice, beautiful personality, and a fox. My, my, my. Look, young, can I get my piece of the rock? Yeah, my little piece, my little taste, and this comes from uh, one of my old albums called Hot. I think that keep coming up every now and then. I had the pleasure of doing this on a spot I did a while back for a very worthy cause. Keep watching, you'll see it everywhere. And it goes like this. Uh. I love you for sentimental reason. I hope you do believe me. I've given you my heart. I love you. You alone were meant for me. Please give your loving heart to me. I, I think of you every morning Then I dream, then I dream, then I dream, then I dream of you every night Darling, I'm never lonely Whenever 
Everything is about roots, and now here's a group that really had their roots together, deep in the soul of America, and deep in the soul of Africa, and deep in the soul of a whole lot of beautiful people. And this is the way we show it, our future shot dancers, to compete in a dance contest. And believe me, they're ready and down and getting ready to get heavy into some show, showing up funk. So right now, if you will, let's get together and look out for sister number one. Get down with the music.
I guess you saw the young ladies in the future shark chase, and I want you to know that you can be able to purchase those. We got some heavy an an answers and some, they yeah, look to your question. You'll see how to get them and how to order them because uh, it's fantastic. But right now, we'd like to ask you one thing. We want you to be the judge out there in your mind and see if you're right because we'll make determination here. One day I say we'll get it together so you can call in and say, I'll check out number one, I want number two, I want number three, or I want them all. If I was a man, I'd say I want them all. Right now, if you will, let's give a big round of applause to sister number one. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Can't take the place of a dress. <laughs> number three. Yeah. Number Number five. Yeah. You know what? We're not gonna let nobody be a bad guy, but anyway, we got a young man who's spoke out and said, I'm gonna be the judge, you understand? The same way I used to do a long time ago when I was in school, so he's gonna walk out now and you know and come bring us his rap, you understand? See what he got to say, you know. Cool daddy, you understand? Ladies man, you understand? Come on out, brother. See? Now you're gonna be a bad guy. You're gonna, gonna stop all your action. What's your name is, brother? My name is uh, Willie Ray. Willie Ray? Willie. Willie Ray? Man. Okay, brother. Now you're gonna blow with somebody. You got four ladies ain't gonna dig you no more. So understand? So, <laughs> who's the winner? Well, if, um, all of them are uh, nice, man. Um, they understand where I'm coming from. It was number five. Number five! Number five! Okay. Do you know the young lady? <laughs> What's your name, young lady? Tish Basket. Tish Basket? Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what's, uh, is that, what's your last name? Basket, really? yeah. Really? I'd like to share it. Thank you. Yeah, oh, great. Like you do? Yes. Yeah. Great. You know, they can all of them now, I know. It's, okay. I'll tell you what, you go and get down and we'll let everybody down. You, you, you work out with them, brother, okay? We'll be back in a few minutes. Get everybody get on down right here. We'll be right back with Miss Elaine Towns from Tuskegee Institute. And now we want to continue with some punk discussion.
this next tune, we got a very important interview that I had the pleasure of doing last week with a lovely Mrs. Thomas from Tuskegee Institute, and it's about Dr. Joy Washington Carver, who, who made so many accomplishments from the peanut and other things, that, and you really would be surprised and amazed because it's very informative. But right now, let's get ready and check out my man, Hal Melvin and the Blue Notes, and they're reaching for the world, so am I. Been a lucky fella, well, been around everywhere. Never known pain or sorrow, never had to care, well. Got me a lovely lady, ooh, she makes it so nice to belong, well. Makes a man's home his castle, and his life a song. Again, we got a lady back who was very informative last week and, and even more informative this week. Uh, the lovely Miss Elaine Thomas, and she's a director curator of George Washington College Museum. 
And now we're going to turn it over to Miss Thomas. Thomas, welcome to have you here this time. I'm glad to have you here, and, and you're welcome. I was welcome to have you. Glad to have you here. You're perfectly welcome, and it's your ball game. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm <clears throat> privileged to show some of the products that are on display at the Carver Museum. And, of course, we want to realize that Dr. Carver was an artist. I'd like to say that he was an artist first because he studied art a full year at Simpson College and then changed his major to science. While at Tuskegee, he created more than 100 oil paintings. And, of course, this is only a very small one. I mentioned last week that he was concerned in improving the living conditions of the people of the South. And by so doing, he grew various crops and wrote pamphlets on how to use them and created recipes. This is a favorite one, how to grow the peanut and 105 ways to prepare it for human consumption. Also, Dr. Carver discovered many, many things from the peanut. And I have brought from our permanent collection a jar of his face cream made from the peanut. And you know, uh, some many years ago, I understand that he said to a student on campus as they met on the cafeteria steps one day, come to see me, I think I can help you. And you see, he had noted that this student had lost the hair on his head, very large patches. So the student went to Dr. Carver's laboratory and he massaged his scalp and gave <clears throat> him some of the Carver formula. And today that person has his hair completely restored. There's only one difference. His hair is white now well, instead I wish, of gray. Oh, that's fine. That's great. Would you tell me how, how old this, um, this piece here? Is this, what this goes apart with? Yes, this is Dr. Carver's synthetic marble, which he made many, many years ago from wood shavings. And I'm sure it is a forerunner of some of the building materials. You have an idea how have old it is? Excuse me for cutting This should be at least 45 years old. Oh, God. And at Tuskegee, we are so proud of the fact that much of his work continues through our experimentation in agriculture, the development of products from the sweet potato, and also at the Carver Research Foundation, which Dr. Carver left a lot of money for its establishment. For our audience out there, Ms. Thomas, would you tell them how they can come and see this and how it's, where it's located at? The Carver Museum is located on the campus of Tuskegee Institute, uh, very close to the Booker T. Washington Monument. And our museum hours are 10 to 4. And that's Tuskegee, Al Tuskegee, Alabama. Right. Right. <laughs> 10 to 4, Monday through Saturday, and of course on Sunday we are open from 1 until 4. We would love to share the museum with you. And again, we thank you and Mrs. Brown for visiting with us. Thank you very, very much, and we thank you for coming. We're going to have you. Oh, look, we're just going to let you burn that road up and keep coming back. Maybe we'll have Mr. Charles Bobbitt, our president, to come pick you up. Thank you very, very, very much, and God bless you, and, and thanks to you and all of the wonderful people there at Tuskegee, Tuskegee Institute. I have a bad night tonight because I'm kind of excited. God bless you. We'll see you later. Thank you. And now, back for some other things, like music. You know, it's a funny thing. Uh, I'm speaking, I'm sitting here with a young man, Lee Austin Burner, who's been here several times and around the country with me doing things on the show with the James Brown show and has been doing a lot of things on his own. In fact, we was raised up together. You know, I hear that you, your, your record and that you're doing basically the same thing I did with a woman. Yeah. I'm missing you. Yeah, I uh, had the opportunity to uh, do this some years ago and uh, well, not about really. a year ago. About a year ago. I, 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 it's been so long when I said some years ago. It, may, it, it gets me because some people's missed the record. That's it right. Was, they missed it. It was, a, it was a heck of a record. And, um, Smash. Really was. And so we, I had the opportunity to get with you again and re-released it. Well, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you thought about putting it back out because 
Uh, you sung too hard for the people not to hear it, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, I put Woman out four and a half years ago, right? Right. And I said, I'm going to pull it back and wait. So I know you come to me and you told me, so let's pull it back and put it out at a later date because people, they now know that they got to have help. They got the President Carter and they got the, oh, man. They got the problems pretty well worked out, so now they can hear a beautiful ballad. That's right. And it's, and it's really a, a beautiful ballad, too. You sung it to death, brother, and I'm, I, I know that it's going to sell a million copies now that it's re-released. Oh, yeah. Look here. Uh, are you going to do some of the things? Are uh, you going to go to Africa with us? Yeah, I'm going to Africa. You know, I, I miss Europe, but I, I hate that because I was working in South Carolina, North Carolina. And doing but, it, yeah, Southern tour. Yeah, so now I'm going to make... Uh, the world tour. The world tour. Right. Yeah. And go back to the roots, right? Yeah, but I'm back to the roots. You know, we was in Africa some time ago, so I can't... I got to go back there. Well, if you're going back to the roots, do me a favor, brother. Yeah. Go back there and sing it to pieces. Can oh, you sing, man. Can you, oh, can you, can you do the song for us? You can't get away without doing a number. Hey, now. man, it'll be a pleasure. Do missing you for me, no, okay, I'm, brother? I'm going to And for the people. Sure will. Just say hi to the world again. Thank you. Thank you a million. Brother, will you go and do it for us? Sure will. You know... That's that, that's the, uh, uh, I would you say the identification of a real true star, a man who has the courage and the guts to go back and say, I'm gonna re-release this tune again. I did that with Woman, and it's gonna be a smash. And I'm sure this will never be even bigger than Woman and a whole lot of things because it's, the man singing his heart out. If you will, let's get ready for Lee, the Bunny Austin, beautiful ballad, missing you. The man sings his heart out. Go out and get this one. This is a smash. I woke up this morning with you on my mind. Thoughts of you dance before me. And as I test the pillow Where your sweet head used to lay beside me I remember our last conversation When you said you wanted to Never be another in your life like me. It's about quarter to three now as I page the flow where we used to live. But knowing to another, my love, I could never give. But wait a minute, there's something I want to tell you. Why? Why do lovers never know what they have until one is gone? But as I sit here in this lonely room, Looking out the window, missing you, missing you, uh, missing you how much you never know. It's about half past five now. I wonder what she's doing. She's gone and left me behind. But I ask myself sometimes, do I ever cross her mind? But I keep on missing you. Cause I know we can straighten it out I keep on missing you Cause I know we can straighten it out I keep on missing you Cause I know we can straighten it out Oh, I wanna rock you again and again Rock you again You know, as we promised, uh, we gave you that hour power pack show, full of nothing but roots. Had a lot of beautiful things. The young people got down to dance and they sung their heart out for the entertainers we had on the show. But it's really bad when um, the world has moved so fast and we got over into this disco craze 
And uh, hey, a lot of beautiful things got left. I heard the young man sing the song just now. And I'm very glad he's bringing it out because it's now it's time for real strong, fantastic, heavy tunes. And uh, a piece of music like this be wasted. So I personally asked the young man to stay over and just wait and do it again. We all sitting around in the studio and we love the way he's doing it. He's taking care of plenty of business. I want to say to you, thank you. And with whoever you are, just remember that the world is with you. And uh, we love you here from Future Shock. It's been a group and it's been a guest. We're back to our roots again, like I said. But most of all, you back to your roots. And uh, I want you to know that uh, if you haven't been looking, we've been waiting for you. If you haven't been looking, thank you. So, hey, Trinidad, uh, South America, regardless of where you're from, I want you to know that Future Shock loves you. I love you. Thank you and God bless you. And if you haven't been listening and haven't been watching, I want you to know that we've been missing you. Remember 